G'day, Andrew here again from Guitar Street. Thank you so much for tuning in. Really exciting news. I've just received the package from Japan that I've been waiting for. There's four basket cases and one project. Before I get into a really quick rundown on the Chevelle CDS55, I've actually had a couple of questions on how to import guitars from Japan, specifically Jackson, Grover Jackson, Chevelles, etc. So I thought I'd take the opportunity to do a big shout out to a couple of guys who have some brilliant videos. Massive shout out to a guy called Rob Hansen. His original videos on how to buy Grecos from Japan are actually how I got started in this whole rescue guitar thing. He's just updated his Japan buying guide. He's also got some really cool videos that help run you through the different types of models of Greco. So if you're looking for information on Grecos, definitely check out Rob's channel. The other one I've only just been introduced to, Dunsey's Guitar World. This guy's a man after my own heart. He's got a collection of Grecos that, well, it, it kind of puts me to shame, to be honest. He's got Les Pauls, he's got Vs, he's got Strats, and he just picked up this awesome Mockingbird as well. So check it out. He's also done a really great step-by-step -step guide on how to use Zen Market. Zen Market is just one of the aggregator sites which helps you buy from Japan. There are a lot of risks, but there's a lot of reward in the bargains that you can get. So if you're looking to buy a Chevelle or a Jackson, a Japanese Jackson, an early Grover Jackson, go and check out Rob Hansen's 2020 buying guide or check out Dunsey's explanation on Zen Market. All right, so down to this one. We've got the early 90s CDS 54. Five. It's an SSH configuration and at the moment the pickup cavities are empty. This one's definitely not classified as a rescue guitar. It's in beautiful condition. There is one dent and a few minor scratches, but all in all it's beautiful. Frets are at about 70%. I've just cleaned up the neck. I actually have a couple of pickups lying around ready for this. Up on the neck I've actually got a special wound hot rail for this thing. It's been sitting around in my collection for, God, I don't know, five years or something. It was gonna be part of another project. It's beautiful sounding, angry as hell hot rail. I think it has around about 11 or 12K. I will measure it in the next video. I also have a spare Virgin Killer. Greco comes in again with those naming conventions, right? Who else would have called pickups Virgin Killer? Despite the name, they are really beautiful pickups. I've got one for the middle position. It's just got some beautiful warm tones and real clarity. So I'm really excited to give you a demo of that. And lastly, in the bridge, David at Ledden Vintage Guitars hand rewound this vintage MIJ Fujigen made humbucker for me. This thing is an absolute beast. I'm gonna go put these pickups into the Chevelle and give it a tone test. So stay tuned for the next episode. Thanks so much for watching. If you could please hit subscribe or follow us on our Instagram page at guitarstreet.co, I'd really appreciate your support. If you've got any suggestions on the tones you'd like me to chase with this Chevelle, hit me up in the comments below. Cheers.